Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. So we're looking at actually Black Series number 100, Luke Skywalker, Yavin Ceremony, depending on what side of the box you read. Um, now this one I'm actually going to show the box because uh, this cracks me up. <laughs> right, so let's look at the front. Great picture of Luke there, looks really nice. Now let's have a look at this spelling there, Luke Skywalker, okay. Go to the number 100, Luke Skywalker, Yemen Ceremony. That one looks good. Now on the back. Oh, it's Luke Squawker now, okay. <laughs> and then on the side, Luke Skywalker, Yemen Ceremony. And in the grey, Luke Squ. <laughs> I guess two out of five is not too bad. <laughs> oh, that crack! That's hilarious. Luke Squawker, Luke Skywalker. What are we gonna do? It's a good thing the figure is fantastic. Um, we are getting a version very soon. Um, some people have already got it. It was a. It's going to be a. I think European convention exclusive. Um, comes with all the different bits from the comics. Um, I don't think it comes with the metal though, so I think that's the difference. But he does come with his lightsaber, Ben Kenobi's journal, some other bits and pieces. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting that one, but uh, this figure is really great. It's really good. I'm really digging this look. Um, I'm a big fan of the comics, so I'm excited to have this figure. Accessory-wise, comes with what he's holding. Um, he doesn't come with his lightsaber, but again, I've got spares, so it's fine. He's uh, proudly displayed holding that lightsaber. So we'll give a look at the metal. So nicely detailed. Pretty simple on the back. But the strap sits nicely over the collar. And uh, we can only tend to assume that we may be getting a new Han Solo down the line. We will see. I'd like to see an updated New Hope Han Solo, even though the Yavin, Yavin ceremony is slightly different. Um, he's got his shirt buttoned up and his sleeve roll, sleeves rolled down, but I'll take it. Alright, and he also comes with his blaster pistol here, which he is holding. Pretty nice. Does also fit nicely in his little holster on the side here. So let's get a look at the face sculpt. It's probably one of the best ones so far. Uh, that last Return of the Jedi Luke was pretty damn good. But this is a really nice likeness. Get some better light down there. There we go. It's pretty great. Um, hair's, hair piece is nicely sculpted. It's really looking like Luke there. Nice detail on the hair. Looks good. I've always been a sucker for the yellow jacket, but uh, always been reasonably disappointed in the figures that have come out. Um, I'm not even that excited about the most recent vintage collection uh, re-release of the Black Series one from a few years back. Um, I just used a very, very old body, um, but this one is just hitting it on all cylinders for me. Nice yellow jacket. Black shirt underneath. Looks good. Good articulation all around. The brown pants with the red, yellow blood stripe. Nicely sculpted boots. They look good too. Just a really great Luke Skywalker figure. Articulation, he's got the ball jointed head, ball joint in the neck, 
ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, ball jointed torso, ball hinged hips, swivel thighs, double joints in the knees and ball hinged ankles. So awesome articulation. Um, yeah, so, so really excited to have this one out. Fitting that number 100 ends up being a Luke Skywalker. And a damn good Luke Skywalker at that. So definitely be interested to what you what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always.